Canada is joining a lunar space mission led by the United States. The project, Lunar Gateway, is aimed at building a space station that will orbit the moon. Canada's participation was announced by the Prime Minister at the Canadian Space Agency in Quebec this morning. He says it will be the cornerstone of Canada's new space strategy. There was a time when David's story would have been barely imaginable. A time when our ancestors used the stars to find their way through the wilderness, used the sun to tell time, and used the moon to dock their boats. Back then, Observation was our best and, only off, uh, and often only tool for understanding our world and answering our most basic questions. So in 1839, we built our first observatory on the grounds of the University of Toronto to advance our knowledge of our planet and our universe. We focused on magnetic fields. We wondered why the compass pointed to the North Pole where the northern lights came from. This curiosity, this sense of adventure that would later drive our work in space was alive in the hearts of those who came before us. Alive in the first peoples of Canada who had survived and thrived in the most unforgiving of climates. Alive in the Europeans who had crossed the Atlantic to find a better life in a distant land. Indeed, Canada's entire story is one of perseverance, resilience, and audacity, often in the face of seemingly impossible odds. Each time our friends and allies set out to reach new frontiers, they turned to us. Canada built the communications antenna that helped Alan Shepard become the first American in space. When President Kennedy boldly declared that the United States would land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth, Canada was there. Indeed, Owen Maynard from Woodstock, Ontario, was the engineer at NASA responsible for the design of the lunar module that would bring Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the Sea of Tranquility on the surface of the moon. And the landing gear of that lunar module was built by Eru Aerospace just next door to us in Longueuil. We built the Canadarm for the space shuttles. It launched the Hubble Space Telescope, supported countless spacewalks, and started building the International Space Station, just to name a few things. And frankly, the Canadarm also ensured that the maple leaf is visible in just about every iconic picture of that American space shuttle. Our work in space is perhaps the best example of Canadian ambition, of this tireless desire to learn and to understand that is so inherent to who we are as a country. It's no mistake that we decided to focus our space program on research and science. No surprise that we chose physicists and scientists, engineers and educators, doctors and authors to be our astronauts. Their mission was not only to reach the stars, but to bring their knowledge back to Earth. To help us understand the world in which we live and our place in it. Every astronaut, whether it be through their discoveries or their example, inspired generations of Canadians to push the boundaries of what they thought possible, of what they held to be true. As our Governor General likes to say, they showed Canadians that the sky was not, in fact, the limit. The Lunar Gateway will be one of the most ambitious projects ever undertaken by human beings to date. Not only will this moon outpost allow for a long-term lunar presence, but it will also serve as a launch pad to Mars and beyond. Our allies have asked us to join them in reaching this new frontier. They want our help to take on the challenges of deep space exploration. They want us to be their partner on this lunar mission. And so today, we are stepping up. <laughs> Canadarm, was essential. Canadarm was essential to the space shuttle. Canadarm, too, 
built the International Space Station. So it's only fitting and right that the arm that will repair and maintain the Lunar Gateway will yet again be made in Canada by Canadians. And of course, the AI and robotics used to control this new Canadarm3 will be developed in Canada by Canadians. And that's crucially important given the location of the gateway, where the International Space Station could be operated from the ground at any time, as I just saw a few minutes ago. The distance to the Lunar Gateway will require a level of autonomy never before seen in robotic and human exploration systems. Unlike the ISS, the gateway will not be continuously occupied. Instead, thanks to artificial intelligence and robotics, the gateway will continue to operate when crews are not present and during periods of no communications with Earth. Canadians are pioneering this technology. We have the talent and the expertise to see it through. And now is our time to lead. Our participation in the Lunar Gateway ushers in a new era of Canadian excellence in space, the cornerstone of the next phase of Canada's space program. To do so, the Government of Canada will invest more than $2 billion over 24 years in our space program and in the Lunar Gateway. Today, 10,000 Canadian jobs depend on Canada's presence in space. From the folks right here at CSA who operate Dexter, the Canada Hand, to those who built the Earth Monitoring Satellite Radarsat Constellation Mission Satellites in Saint Anne de Bellevue and Richmond, Quebec, uh, Richmond, BC. Canada's participation in the Lunar Gateway will not only ensure that we keep jobs in our communities, but also unlock unprecedented opportunities for our small and medium-sized businesses to grow and thrive. Of the $2.05 billion, our government will allocate $150 million over five years to help our SMEs develop and demonstrate space technologies. With the Gateway, we also have the chance to leverage our superclusters, especially as they relate to AI, and ensure that Canada contributes to the next generation of AI-enabled deep space robotic systems. These investments will create hundreds of good, well-paying jobs over the next 10 years, from scientists and engineers to technicians and computer programmers, and will contribute $100 million annually to Canada's gross domestic product. Over recent years, as parents, mentors, and teachers, we've encouraged our young people interested in science and technology to follow their passion and work hard so that they can have a job they love one day. In fact, it's kind of what I'm doing right now. My daughter Ella Grace is already, and will admit it, a bit of a science geek like me. So I brought her with, her to, with me today so she could share in this big news and this exciting element of our future. See, we promise our kids that their dream job is out there, that their hard work will pay off. And today, we're making good on that promise. A strong space program will ensure that Canadians are well positioned to benefit from a rapidly growing international space economy, an economy that will triple to $1.1 trillion in the next 20 years. This is an unprecedented opportunity for Canada to shine. We expect robotics to be even more critical in the future, from exploring planets to servicing satellites. Canada has what it takes to be at the forefront of this next phase of space technology. That said, impacts of space innovation extend far beyond any single sector of the economy. Because had we not participated in space exploration, there is little doubt that Canadians from coast to coast to coast would have missed out on good jobs, better opportunities, and great discoveries. Discoveries that have revolutionized life on Earth, whether we realized it or not. The maple leaf was flying over the Baikonur Cosmodrome that in Kazakhstan that day because Canadians chose to go to space. 
We recognized the opportunity before us and believed in our unique ability to seize it. In 1962, we set out to reach a new frontier like we had done so many times before. But Canada made it to space as part of a team. A team of friends and allies who realized that they could achieve more together than they ever could have on their own. My friends, there will always be so much we will never know about our universe. In fact, space exploration has probably generated more questions than we have answered. But that's not really why humans went to space in the first place. We went because we needed to learn more about ourselves. We tested our theories just as much as we tested our resilience and our determination. And in the process, we discovered how to make life on Earth more comfortable, more efficient, and more fulfilling. We revolutionized the way we coexist and connect and the ways we keep each other safe. I now have the enormous pleasure of turning things over to someone who understands perhaps better than anyone just how powerful Canada's presence in space can be. Live from space, please welcome David Saint-Jacques. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, <laughs> ministers, industry members, friends of the CSA. Bonjour à tous. Je suis vraiment heureux de pouvoir me joindre à vous aujourd'hui. I'm privileged to take part in today's historic announcement from here aboard the International Space Station. We just passed over Hawaii, and in a couple minutes, we'll be over Vancouver. It really gives you another perspective. Il y a 20 ans, nous avons commencé à assembler la station module par module. Il a fallu plus de 10 ans pour la construire, et les bras robotiques Canadarm et Canadarm 2 ont joué un rôle central dans chacune des missions d'assemblage. 16 pays du monde entier y ont collaboré. L'espace est un défi immense qui exige de travailler ensemble. La Station spatiale internationale, mon chez-moi dans l'espace actuellement, est un exemple de ce que l'humanité peut accomplir lorsqu'on va au-delà de nos différences et qu'on travaille ensemble dans la paix pour le bénéfice de tous. Aujourd'hui, je suis en orbite avec Anne et Oleg, mes collègues des États-Unis et de la Russie. Je me suis entraîné et j'ai travaillé pendant des années avec des gens du monde entier. Et ce que j'ai constaté, c'est que l'endroit d'où l'on vient, ce n'est pas aussi important que l'objectif qui nous rapproche, l'exploration et l'avancement des connaissances. En fait, notre diversité nous rend plus forts et nous permet d'aller plus loin. I am proud and thrilled that Canada will continue the adventure and join in the next chapter of space exploration. And I am also thrilled that we and generations of Canadians to come will continue to have access to orbiting laboratories to further our understanding of the world and the universe beyond. Here on ISS, we've been learning gaining experience. Now, building on what we've learned, we're getting ready to take the next step. Gateway will be an outpost where humans can live in lunar orbits, where we will learn to work even more autonomously from Mother Earth than we have been doing so far. Je marche dans les pas de géants. Huit astronautes de l'Agence spatiale canadienne sont allés dans l'espace avant moi et ont accompli un total de 16 missions spatiales. It's a unique and humbling experience, and every day I strive to represent us all as best as I can. Même si je me suis préparé pendant des années, je n'étais pas prêt pour la sensation d'apesanteur. En fait, j'ai dû apprendre à voler. Et je ne pouvais pas prévoir non plus que la vue de la Terre depuis l'espace me toucherait autant. Avec son halo bleuté, on voit qu'elle est vivante, le seul endroit habitable que l'on connaisse. En fait, c'est le vaisseau spatial de toute l'humanité. Je suis bien sûr extrêmement content pour mes collègues astronautes canadiens, Jeremy, Jenny et Josh. Et aussi pour les scientifiques, les ingénieurs et les travailleurs spécialisés du secteur spatial canadien. There will be new opportunities for science and discoveries. Not only will we increase our knowledge of our planet and the universe, 
We will advance research that leads to breakthrough science in areas that benefit people on Earth, like healthcare, and give rise to technologies that do not yet exist. But I am most excited for our kids. Today's announcement is a clear message to the next generation of Canadian explorers, future geologists, engineers, astronauts. Canada is inviting you to dream big. Thank you for giving me the chance to make history with you today, all the way from space.